You have to feed the meter to park in Pacific Beach tonight where hundreds of new parking meters were turned on today, but we discovered that some of them don't work. Welcome back. I'm Carlo Chiquetto. I'm Jesse Pagan. Marcella is off tonight. CBS 8's Steve Price has been keeping track of the meter rollout and talked with some people who, of course, aren't too happy about them. The new parking meters here in Pacific Beach were officially activated today, so we talked to drivers about how this first day is going and with supporters of the meters to ask where the money collected is going to end up. The city installed more than 300 meters, mostly in prime parking areas. Garnett from Mission to Faneuil and along a couple of side streets close to the beach. The cost $1.25 an hour with a two hour maximum. They're in effect from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. It's really kind of ridiculous, but you know. Jennifer Curlis tried to pay using the QR code on the front of her meter, but it took her to a random Google search. So I tried it on my meter and it sent me to links for Porsches. It's malfunctioning, it malfunctioned. The meters also say they accept Apple Pay, but we saw several people try to use it with no luck. This woman, frustrated, got back in her car and left, costing the store business. I tried to get my Apple Pay to work, but I also couldn't figure it out. The meters don't take cash, but we did see people use credit cards and they had no issues. We're excited to have them here because it means improvements for our community. Sunny Lee with Discover Pacific Beach says revenue from the meters will be split between the city and the community with the cash coming back to PB going to projects like the new Pacific Beach shuttle, which offers free rides from the trolley station into PB, or you can ride it around PB for a subsidized one way fee of $2.50 per person. We want to raise funds to bring in more vehicles because right now we're operating four vehicles in Pacific Beach, but we could use a lot more to transfer transport a lot more people. Sunny also thinks it will help local businesses by turning spots over faster, allowing more customers access to easy parking. But Jennifer doesn't agree. People are going to be less likely to come and park because they have to pay. And so they're, you know, it's less likely to get them down here and people are going to avoid it. Technically, the meters are a pilot program in place for one year, after which the program could be expanded to a wider area or if deemed unsuccessful, the meters will be removed within a few weeks of the pilot program ending in Pacific Beach. Steve Price, CBS 8. Thank you, Steve. And the city of San Diego tells us they are aware of the issues with the QR codes not leading users to the parking app and have new stickers ordered. But the city was not aware of the problems with Apple Pay. They'll be looking into those.